shall use in order to solve her problem? Teresa? The engineering design. The engineering design process, exactly. So we're going to use the engineering design pro process again today. Okay, we've used parts of the process along the way. A process, what did we say a process was? Jaden. Something that you take step by step to get to the finished product or goal, okay, the goal, okay? So it's a set of um, steps that we're gonna follow to achieve a goal. So we have here a process, okay? A process is a series of steps that we are going to, um, to get to our desired goal. So one quarter plus one quarter, you know, fractions, right? Mm -hmm. Equals what? One half. One half, okay. Okay. okay and add the water to the bowl. All right, so this is what we were talking about before. When we said adding, what states of matter do we have? Solid and Solids and liquids, thank you. Okay, what's our next step? Next, measure quarter cup of salt. Okay, use your hands to knead for one minute. Does this look like high quality? Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, sure. No. Give it like sort a two. Of. When you use the store bought, did you get this? No. 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 And if we, if it's a low quality, what's the possible score? Mm. Two. Do you think if we change the materials, it would be better? No. 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 Do you think? What do you think we could do to improve, Morgan? We can add more or less of it. Oh, so you're talking about so we could change the amounts. When you mix water with the flour, you told me you, sometimes you got a solid, sometimes you got a liquid. What happens when you mix the water with the salt? What did you observe when you mixed the water with the salt, Teresa? It was it was still a liquid, and it was, it was it very like it wasn't clear at all. It was like very it looked, looked kind of like fog. What happened to the salt? Nice description. It, it kind of like dissolved. It dissolved. So in the boxes below, you're going to write some ideas about how you would improve the process. I just want to see what happens if you add salt, water, and flour all at the same time. All at the same time. Okay, that's a brainstorm idea. So your first idea, we mm -hmm. should add more flour yeah. and a tiny bit more water. A little tiny bit more flour. But if and you add too much flour, it'll become too dry, then it'll and then, just fall apart. Uh, I think we should add a tiny bit of flour and water. Okay. Well, how well, much well we're adding the flour because we're trying to get rid of the stickiness from the water. Oh, uh, yeah. So less water? So, a little bit more flour. More flour, less water. I've, I just made it to several of the groups, and as I went along several of the groups, I'm uh, very, very impressed with how everybody was sharing and taking turns sharing. No, you had a really interesting um, idea about the combination of things. Would you share it with the, the class? I want to see what would happen if you add salt, water, and flour all at the same time. So he wants to add them all at the same time. So your process would definitely change, okay? Okay, so we have asked questions. We imagined what can we do to make that happen. Now we're going to come up with a plan. On this page, what you're going to do is you're going to re, you're going to use your other information. You can use your observations, and you're going to cut out the steps, just like I cut out the steps of the process. But you're going to put it in the order you want here. You're going to put them in the order that you think would make it the best process to achieve your goal of high quality Play Doh. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, one, two, three, four. Then press your chum. So, like, how much? Add half again. Because if we add too much, then, like Seth said, it's going to end up draining. Yeah. I'm going to make yours get glued onto mine. Yeah. Oh, just to, okay to see if somebody has an. So extra Taylor one. has started her new and improved process, and this is what it's looking like. So when she's done, I'm going to give her group. You're going to work with the same partner you had yesterday, and you're going to test your new process. 
So you're going to get a kit just like yesterday. You have a basin, try and keep the things in the basin. You have your three materials. You have your flour, salt, water. What state of matter is this? Liquid. Liquid. Then you're going to get an empty one. Okay, this is your spoon for stirring. Then you have your one quarter measuring cup and your craft stick to, to square off so you have exact amounts. For the flour, we did um, add a half extra tablespoon of flour. Okay. So would I do this and then that? This is a quarter cup and this is one tablespoon. And what do you think that mark in there? See, if you look in there, see the label? Yeah, one quarter. Yeah, exactly. That's half. Awesome. You can barely move it. I'm glad you're smiling. So what, what's the consistency? It was what I said. It was, it's what you said? Yes. Okay. Two flour and maybe two of water. Just to make more. Two teaspoons. Add one extra tablespoon of water to the bowl. So we added we started adding more stuff like we then we started to add salt. To get then we added just a little bit more. Water. I got water. Okay, so everyone have a seat. I'm seeing lots of interesting things going on. All right? Jordan, tell us what's happening at your table. Um, what's happening at ours is we changed a little bit. So you have this process. Yes. When you follow the new, you follow the new and improved process. Yeah, and it got us to wet dough, like really wet, and it, you couldn't see, you couldn't feel any dough at all. It was just wet. Or so when you were going to do the usage test and the texture test, yeah, it was wet. Right? You couldn't even do the test. So what did you go ahead and do? Oh, we added, um, like. What? You went ahead? Yeah. And added? Yeah. What step is that? Uh, the improvement. You're going to improve the improvement? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see how this is a process? Once you keep doing it, it goes going on and on and on and you're not done? Yeah. Okay. Now, before you do that, let's, what is really important right now so that you remember this, what you changed? Write it down. We added um, four tables of flour and that was too sticky and we tried to add more flour to make it So then, so what is it you're changing? What did you, what do you want? We're, we're going to press up the subtract and then add more water because we subtract the water. Okay, so then cross that off so that you know that you didn't do that. You need to keep a good record of what changes you made. I am so excited at everything that I'm observing. I see people that are having difficulty. They're like, oh my gosh, this is like, it makes no sense. Okay, they already, but then they didn't give up. They had perseverance. They immediately went to improve things. But the next step, is what? What did you tell me we had to do? No. On your so next two in your data packet, okay, you have a texture test and you have a usage test. I want you to grade or test for the snowman test and for the texture test. And how about we do two cups of three for the one cup of water? You can mix all of this. Andre, mix it up. So you're telling me if we come up with a process here, with this whole process, if it's good, you can take it home and you'll get the same results at home that you get here. Perfect. Isn't that so? Are you achieving your goal? So Morgan, tell us what was easy for your process. If I think mm. it was better when you add more flour. You you for your particular process it was okay. Because why? Because it makes it like more like makes it less sticky and it less makes it sticky. like if you have like the same amount of flour and water it's kind of like really it's, it's not easy to like manage with who can tell me 
What parts didn't work so well? What, oh, look at all the hands that go up on that one. What did not work so well? Taryn? We thought maybe if we put too much flour in because it was really dry, we tried adding more water, but it didn't work. That being said, you guys had success with improving, it had really, and then you had some frustration with what you thought was going to happen. So why is it important to add the amounts? The, it's important to add a certain amount because you wouldn't want the dough to be too rough or too wet and easy to, you want it easy to be molded. How many of you think that using the engineering design process will be easy to come up with some sort of plan or invention? Okay, nice job.